What's going on, folks? This is Clayton Youngberg coming at you from AndroidAuthority.com, your number one source for all things Android. Today we've got a quick overview of an unofficial Cyanogenmon TED ROM. Now that's the Jelly Bean build, and this is on the Asus TF300T, the E-Pad. So we're going to be getting a first look at what a Jelly Bean looks like on the transformer pad here. We'll just walk through some of the stuff. Now mind you, this is unofficial. It's uh, from a dump of the Nexus 7, so a lot of the features aren't working, and uh, there's not even a Google Apps package I was able to flash. But this is just to show you what uh, Jelly Bean might look like on a bigger size tablet. Uh, so let's go ahead and go through some of the user interface. As you can see we have our clickable status bar just like we do an ice cream sandwich. And then we have our notifications where we can just uh, swipe away. Anyways, we hit the uh, settings toggles there. We get the entire menu there. We've got airplane mode, Wi-Fi, which is fully functional. Auto rotate is functional. Our brightness control is definitely functional. We have our notifications and then we can go to our full settings menu here. That's where we can access Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Under the more settings, we only have airplane mode and VPN. And we've got our sound options, our display and storage. I've been having uh, some problems with the storage because I put a SD card in there, but it is not recognizing that just yet. Um, I think that just might be a kink that needs to be worked out with the Jelly Bean OS. Now, anyways, we can manage our apps in the new ways here. Um, where we can select whether or not they show up in our notification bar, which is uh, functional as of now. We have our location services, our security. We can add our accounts just like that. Now we're not able to add a Google account because I have not flashed a Google Apps package. Um, for some reason I can't store anything on the SD card of this device while it is running Jelly Bean. Anyways, we can go into our About tablet, see that we are running the 4.1.1. We even have our uh, little Easter egg here all of our different uh, jelly beans and stuff. So we'll go back. Under our developer options, we have a few more options. Um, we can turn them on or off. All of them can be completely turned on. Um, anyways, let's enable USB debugging. We can show our touches. We can force GPU rendering. And the Tegra 3 really just makes this uh, project butter even more buttery smooth. We go back. We don't get the Google Now from long pressing the home button, but we do have our recent apps. No option to remove all of the recent apps at one time, but we do have our uh, Jelly Bean physics with our widgets. We can move them out of the way. We don't have any of our native Google widgets. We'll go ahead and go into our app tray here. You see this is what's pre-installed as of now. It does uh, come with ROM Manager and the DSP Manager as well as Apollo Music. All things of Cyanogen Mod Source. As we'll go right, we can see we do have all of our widgets. We have the calendar widget, even though it's not synced with anything because there is no Google Calendar. We have our settings shortcut, our uh, photo gallery. Let's go ahead and add a power control just to show some of the physics of uh, Jelly Bean here. So anyways, we got that running. This is what Jelly Bean is going to look like almost, uh, you know, exactly to a T. It's just is uh, missing some of the functionality of Jelly Bean. But stay tuned, guys, because we're going to get a lot more functional builds coming, especially for the Asus TF300T. This is a very good device. Anyways, you guys, if you want to try this ROM out, go ahead. We'll provide the link in the description. Um, you're going to need to have a rooted device, Clockwork Mod Recovery installed, but just flash the zip. Make sure you've got a backup ROM you want to flash in case you're trying to get off of this and you might uh, soft break your device. But anyways, guys, that's just a preview of what the Jelly Bean OS is going to look like on larger tablets, such as the Asus TF300T. Mm -hmm. 